Welcome back, fellow mythology enthusiasts, to another exciting journey through the realms of gods and legends. In today's episode, we're unlocking the mysteries of the Greek Olympian gods and their Akkadian counterparts, revealing astonishing parallels you never knew existed. From the mighty Poseidon and Ea, lords of the waters, to the enigmatic Hades and Erish Kigal, rulers of the underworld, we're diving deep into the divine connections. And don't forget the goddesses of love and fertility, Aphrodite and Ishtar, whose stories will leave you spellbound. Stay tuned as we uncover the wisdom of Athena and the craftsmanship of Hephaestus, forging a unique link between art and mythology. We'll also explore the contrasting worlds of Ares, the god of war, and Apollo, the patron of light and poetry. Plus, we'll venture into the wild with Artemis and embrace the boundaries with Hermes in our quest for understanding. And finally, we'll raise a toast to Dionysus and find warmth by the hearth with Hestia, as we delve into the essence of nature and home. So, grab your mythological map, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's embark on this epic journey together. But first, make sure to hit that like button and share this video with your fellow myth lovers. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell, so you never miss an episode. Are you ready? Let's dive into the captivating world of Olympian gods and their Akkadian counterparts. In the vast pantheon of gods from different mythologies, the Greek and Roman Olympian deities hold a special place. These powerful beings, with their intricate relationships and distinct domains, have fascinated scholars and enthusiasts for centuries. However, what many might not realize is that these gods had counterparts in Akkadian mythology, adding depth and cultural richness to the stories we know. Let's embark on a journey through the divine world as we explore the Greek, and Roman, Olympian gods and their Akkadian counterparts. Zeus, Jupiter, Anuan, Supreme Rulers of the Sky at the zenith of the Olympian hierarchy stands Zeus, the ruler of the sky and wielder of the thunderbolt. His Akkadian counterpart, Anu, shares his role as the supreme sky god and impartial ruler. Both gods use their divine authority to maintain order among their fellow deities and enforce justice. Poseidon, Neptune, Ea, Anki, Lords of the Waters. Poseidon, Lord of the Seas and wielder of the Trident, commands the vast oceans and can unleash earthquakes when angered. In the Akkadian tradition, E.A., Anki, assumes a similar role, but as the lord of all waters, including those deep beneath the Earth's surface. E.A.'s wisdom and concern for human well-being mirror the attributes of Athena more than Poseidon. Hades, Pluto, Erish Kigal, rulers of the underworld. Hades, the lord of the dead in Greek mythology, presides over the dark realms beneath the Earth. His queen, Persephone, adds a layer of complexity to his domain. In the Akkadian pantheon, Erish Kigal serves as the Sumerian-slash-Babylonian counterpart, reigning as the queen of the dead and ruler of the netherworld. Hera, Juno, Demeter, Ceres, guardians of marriage and agriculture. Hera, the queen of the gods and protector of marriage, often grapples with her husband Zeus's infidelities. Similarly, Demeter, the goddess of agriculture, plays a pivotal role in the Greek and Roman cultures, although she remains somewhat peripheral in their epic tales. Aphrodite, Venus, Ishtar, Inanna, goddesses of love and fertility. Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty, embodies the allure of attraction and generation. Her Babylonian counterpart, Ishtar, reigns as the highest-ranking Babylonian goddess, overseeing both fertility and warfare. Athena, Minerva, Hephaestus, Vulcan, gods of wisdom and craftsmanship. Athena, the daughter of Zeus and Mates, embodies wisdom, victorious war, strategy, and the craft of weaving. She carries Zeus's aegis, symbolizing her power. In contrast, Hephaestus, the god of fire and the forge, represents the grit and beauty of metalworking. Often considered ugly due to his involvement in the dirty forge work, he shares an affinity with Athena as a craftsman god. Ares, Mars, Apollo, warriors of different stripes. Ares revels in the chaos of battle and war itself. In contrast, Apollo, the god of the sun, embodies civilized arts associated with light, including truth, prophecy, poetry, and music. Apollo's association with hierarchy and aristocracy sets him apart from the raw, martial nature of Ares. Artemis, Diana, Hermes, Mercury, guardians of boundaries. Artemis, the goddess of the moon and the hunt, embraces nature and wilderness. Hermes, the boundary crosser, serves as the messenger of the gods, escorting souls to the afterlife and protecting travelers. Dionysus, Bacchus, Hestia, Vesta, embracing nature and hearth. Dionysus, the god of wine and revelry, connects with the passions of life. Hestia, goddess of the hearth, holds a quieter role, 
overseeing the sacred fire in the home and offering warmth and comfort. As we delve into the intriguing parallels between these Greek and Roman Olympian gods and their Akkadian counterparts, we discover a rich tapestry of myths and legends that span centuries and cultures. These divine beings, whether ruling the heavens, seas, or the underworld, continue to captivate our imaginations and reveal the enduring power of mythology. Thank you for joining us on this thrilling odyssey through the fascinating world of mythology. We hope you enjoyed uncovering the connections between the Greek Olympian gods and their Akkadian counterparts as much as we did. Stay connected with us for more captivating content on mythology and ancient history. If you missed any of our previous adventures, click right here to catch up on all the mythological wonders. And remember, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell, so you never miss an epic exploration. We love hearing from you, so drop your thoughts, questions, and suggestions in the comments below. Once again, thank you for being part of our mythological community. Until next time, may the gods and goddesses watch over you. See you in the next adventure.